Hey everybody, Ian Hoppy here with AL.com and Reckon. Uh, today we're going to go out in my awesome 98 Toyota Corolla that I bought with that big journalism money and see what the hell has happened with all these bridges in downtown Birmingham, Alabama. So as you may have noticed over the last few months, a lot of workers and construction equipment have accumulated on and around the interstates here in Birmingham. So they've been constructing pillars and raised roadways all over the place, and it's kind of difficult to understand how this stuff is supposed to even fit together. Well, we're here to help. So if you're traveling through the city on 65, um, just like we're doing right now, you can see a bunch of construction happening just west of the interstate. That's eventually going to be three bridges running next to one another. One is an exit coming off of 2059 East, one is an exit coming off of 65 South, and one is a big arc that's an entrance onto 65 South coming all the way over from 11th Avenue North by the BJCC. A lot of the changes that they're making to this interchange in particular uh, are kind of an attempt to split the traffic so there's less people traveling through common channels. So it used to be that if you were in the north of town and you wanted to go south, you had to get on 2059 West and then 65 South. What they've done now is just add a ramp with a huge flyover that just puts you on 65 South directly. The same thing is going on over at 65 North and 2059 West. They're also replacing the 2059 bridges coming through downtown. There's been a lot of controversy about these bridges. Uh, some people say they are a blight on the city because they run right through the middle of town. They were also originally zoned to go in the middle of majority black neighborhoods. Aldot just says that the bridges are more than 40 years old and they move more than twice the cars that they were originally designed to. So they're also reworking the interchange at 2059 and Red Mountain Expressway. That's what all these cranes are posted up around the interchange. They're uh, doing a similar thing here as they are about Malfunction Junction, uh, building a bridge that takes you all the way from 31st Street over the junction and puts you on a 2059 West right there by Uptown. Other than that, most of the interchange will remain largely the same, just new and updated. So this whole thing is estimated to cost us a very cool $750 million. It'll be done around 2020. Phase three, which includes the rebuilding of the bridges that go through downtown, is scheduled to start later this year. So the traffic is probably gonna get much worse before it gets any better. Keep an eye on AL.com for updated plans, road closures, and detour information. As always, I'm Ian Hoppy for Reckon. Thank you.